Okay, this lesson involves equations where you have fraction equal to fraction. And I'm going to first of all show you the long cut, and then I'll show you the short cut. The long cut is, as we worked before with equations with fractions, we would find a number that 7 and 6 both go into, and that would be 42. So we'd start off by multiplying both sides of the equation by 42. But when we do that, then we say 7 goes into 42 6 times. 6 goes into 42 7 times. So we end up with 6 times 3x, which is 18x, and 5 times 7, which is 35. Now what I'd like to do is show you a quicker way to get to that same answer. And we're going to use this quite often in this series of solving equations. Here is the quicker way. It only works if you have a fraction equal to a fraction, nothing added or subtracted to either of them. What we're going to do is cross multiply. These two guys multiplied have to equal these two guys multiplied. So 3x times 6 is 18x, 7 times 5 is 35. Now the opposite of multiplying by 18 is dividing by 18. So automatically out pops my answer. The 18's cancel and I get x equals 35 over 18. Or 1 and 17 eighteenths or whatever that works out to as a decimal. Okay, so this cross multiplying idea is going to work out really well anytime we have fractions equaling to a fraction. And if you think about it, it does make sense. Um, like I have a fraction here that's 5 over 10, and here that's uh, 4 over 8. Now both of those fractions equal a half, so therefore they are equal. Okay, because they both equal half. Now look what happens when I cross multiply. These two guys equal 40. These two guys also equal 40. So whenever you have equal fractions, you can cross multiply and the results are still going to be equal.